three hours. Morning, it's Tuesday, and today I'm gonna to run a marathon. Oh yes, it's marathon day. So it's currently nine o'clock, so I'm hoping to just keep my eye on the weather and as soon as it seems to brighten up I'm just gonna get out and go. I'm hoping for somewhere about three hours 40 minutes that'd be really good that will be a marathon PB if I get it. I've only done two marathons before one was at the end of Ironman which took me about six hours and my first marathon was the long course weekend which took me four hours 45 minutes. The route around me is fairly hilly but I've got a few hills to, to run up and down which is good. Um, but I just want to run through quickly the sort of nutrition that I'm going to do for, for this run. It's nothing, nothing major. What I've got is I'm taking these electrolyte tablets from Science and Sport. I take these all the time. I've got a few packs, a few different flavours. They're all pretty good. And these are pineapple and mango. Um, so I will have one of those now and I'll basically just sip on it. Um, I might not even drink the whole thing. I just like take small amounts just for the sort of 45 minutes up to my run. I find that really helps with getting cramp and things like that. And then what I'll do is I'll put another one in a bottle and I'll leave that outside the front door so that when I run around, because um, I often come back past the house, I think usually with this route, I come back past the house about four times. Uh, so what I'll do is if I'm feeling really thirsty, I just duck in, grab the bottle and drink some of that. Um, so I don't have to carry a bottle with me because I hate running with a bottle in my hand. Um, I'm also, just before I'm going to go, I'm going to take one of these goos. And then I've got two uh, of the Science and Sport gels. These I'm just going to stick in my pocket. They're a bit annoying. They kind of bounce around. I'll take one at about um, one hour 15 and then the next one at about two and a half hours. Um, and that will be it for nutrition. That is it. That is my marathon nutrition. I know it's not very much, but I'm quite good at sort of fasted exercise. Pretty much all of my runs that I do are fasted. So I'll eat my last meal in the evening and then I'll sleep. I'll wake up the next morning, don't eat anything. All I have is black coffee and then I'll run at about 11. And it, the run can be anywhere up to two hours sometimes. And then when I get back from the run, that's when I'll eat. So I'm quite used to running without eating. Um, so this morning what I've had is I've had a coffee and I've also had an apple. That, that's it. So basically I'm just going to wait for the sun and then I'm going to go run. <laughs> that was not meant to rhyme. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> go, cheers guys. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, cool. So the sun is just not going to come out apparently. So I'm just going to go now and see how it goes. Cool. See you guys. <laughs> windy as soon as I pick up the camera. Typical, isn't it? Um, yeah, feeling really good. That's uh, yeah, just over 50 minutes, so that's on pace. I'm really happy with that. And uh, that's uh, just under eight minutes a mile. Cool, check in with you. Probably halfway. I am halfway. Feeling really good. Had a bit of a hilly bit, second quarter, especially the start of it, so I slowed down a little bit. Um, so I'm averaging. 808 for Martin now, but that's still pretty good. And uh, hour and 46 minutes for half an hour. So let's go smash the second half. Right, been three quarters of the way through at that third quarter. It was really good. I was at halfway, I was averaging 808 per mile, and now I'm averaging 758 per mile. So that's doing wonders for my time. So I've got just over six miles to go and I'm wondering if I can do sub 3.30. I'll be so chuffed if I do. That'll be amazing. 
it's starting to bite on my legs now. So I just got to push through. Here we go. Last push. Let's see at the finish. That's marathon PB. Three hours, 29 minutes, nine seconds. Come on! I'm so happy with that. That last call was hard. Stash, we? Oh, pretty muddy. The roads are just. Much more like, yes, fastest marathon mill. Thank you very much. Fastest half as well. 141.4. That was the second half, not the first. Get in. Details 26.21 miles. Time 3 hours 29 minutes 9 seconds. Average pace 7.59 per mile. Calories burned 2,273. We have average heart rate of 156 BPM, max heart rate of 171. Cadence 167 steps per minute. And we have ascent 1,768 feet and descent 1,778 feet. So, don't know how that works, but yeah. Um, that's a marathon PB. Oh, I'm so happy. I really had to dig in at the end. Really had to dig in. Um, yeah. I realise that that's not how this 100 miles is going to go because I was pushing for time there on purpose. No, no, it's volume over intensity, but it's not often you get to run a marathon PB, is it? So, yeah, really, really happy with that. Um, I'm going to ice bath now. I think I'm going to do about 20 minutes. I think that'll be worth it. Because I ache. And I'm going to do a lot of stretching. We haven't got any hot water, so no matter what I do, it's going to be cold. But yeah. PB. Sub 3.30. I think before, I think when I started this, I said I'd be happy if I did 3 hours 45. Or three hours forty. I said one of those. Three hours twenty nine minutes. Get in. Oh, I'm gonna hurt in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>